Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Clarissa, a certified stock Pilates instructor as well as a physiotherapist. In this video, I'll be showing some beginner-friendly Pilates exercise on Reformer to work on the abs. Follow me throughout the exercise to get some abs workout. For those who are new to my channel, do check out this video. Click on the link above to find your right setting on Reformer. Before we start, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel Pilates Pilates and Physiotherapy Studio. First exercise, mid back series, straight down. Foot bar number one in universal setting, which is gear bar two, stopper two. Recommended spring tension is one to two springs. Starting position, lying on carriage. Head rest should be adjusted based on your neutral head and neck alignment. Leave a gap between the shoulders and shoulder rest. Hands in straps, palms face forward. Imprint the pelvis by gently engage the oblique muscles and draw the tailbone towards the ceiling. Legs in tabletop position. Stabilize the shoulders and reach hands towards the sky. Make sure there is slight tension on the strap to start with. Inhale to stay. Exhale, pull the straps towards the hip with control. Inhale, return arms pointing up towards the sky. Avoid bouncing movements throughout and make sure the pelvis stays in print throughout. You should feel the engagement of the abs throughout this exercise. Engage the shoulder extensors to press the straps down without rounding the shoulders. Recommended repetition for this exercise is 10 repetitions and 3 sets. If you want to challenge your abs further, reach your legs out into diagonal position as far as the imprint can be maintained to avoid lower back straining. Next exercise, round back on short box. Foot bar number 4 with your own footwork setting. Recommended spring tension is 2 springs. Place the reformer box onto carriage. Make sure the edge of the box is secured by the shoulder rest. Starting position, sitting on the center of the box. Make sure to lift at least one palm distance between the pelvis and the edge of the box. Make sure the strap is above the star knobs. Place feet under the feet strap and make sure it is slightly loose. Keeping legs together and place Achilles tendon at the edge of the carriage. Maintain toes pointing up to secure the feet strap. Clasping hands together in front of the tummy and lengthen into a neutral spine to start with. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, start with scooping the tailbone and round the lower back. Roll as far as the abs remains flattened. Keep your gaze forward as you roll back. Inhale to reach arms overhead as far as ribcage remains stable. Exhale, Lower down arms to starting position, then round your spine forward as far as weight on seat bones. Inhale to stack the spine up into vertical position. In this exercise, you should feel your lower abs is engaging without creating any unnecessary tension at the lower back. Recommend to complete this exercise with 10 repetitions and 3 sets. If you want to challenge your abs further, Stay in roll back position and perform arm raises to work on your endurance. Next exercise, twist with round back. Same setting and sitting position with previous round back exercise. Recommended spring tension is two springs. Holding a pole in shoulder width distance and reaching it overhead as far as rib cage and shoulders remain stable. Feel like you want to break the pole into two by engaging your latissimus dorsi muscles. Inhale to prepare, exhale to scoop your pelvis and start to roll back, lower the pole to shoulder height at the same time. 
Inhale to reach arms overhead. Exhale, rotate spine to one side while maintaining the round back. Make sure the inner thighs are engaged to maintain the square pelvis. And make sure the pole is parallel to the floor by twisting the rib cage towards opposite side of your pelvis. Inhale, you're gonna derotate the spine. Exhale, rotate the spine to another side. Inhale, return to center. And exhale, lowering the pole to shoulder height and round the spine forward. Continue with inhale and reach the pole towards your toes. Exhale, stack your spine up into vertical. Inhale, return the arms overhead. Repeat the same with alternate side rotation. And this time you're gonna start rotate towards the other side first and only twist towards your left side and derotate your spine. Lower down the pole, rounding your spine forward here and reaching the pole towards your toes. Exhale, you're gonna stack your spine up and inhale, reaching the pole overhead here. Now exhale, roll back, lower down the pole together. Inhale, reaching the pole up again overhead. Twist towards the left side this time. And next one, twist towards the right side. Inhale, derotate the spine. Lower down the pole and round your spine forward with exhale here. Continue with inhale, reaching the pole towards your toes. And exhale, stack the spine up and return with inhale. In this exercise, you should feel your abs is working. It is recommended to complete this exercise with 8 repetitions and 3 sets. This exercise is good for those with overarch lower back posture to learn the spinal articulation on the lower back by engaging the lower abdominal muscles. Next exercise, knee stretches. Foot bar number one with your own footwork setting. Recommended spring tension is one to two springs. Starting position, kneeling onto the carriage, hands on foot bar in shoulder width distance and stabilize the scapula by engaging your latissimus dorsi muscles. Keeping spine in neutral, make sure the body weight is on the legs to test this. Try to lift the hands off of the foot bar and check if the body can remain stable. As you can see, the hips will be behind of the knees. Inhale, maintain neutral spine and pelvic alignment. Press the carriage out as far as you can. Exhale, fold the hips in by engaging the hip flexors. Make sure the shoulders are not moving towards the wrist and maintain pelvis in neutral. You should feel the burns on cardiac muscles in this exercise. It is recommended to complete this exercise with 10 repetitions and 3 sets. If you want to challenge your abdominals and stability, you can lower down the spring tension. In this modification, you will be working on the endurance of your abdominal muscles. Last exercise, long stretch with the knee down version. Basically, you will be doing a half plank on the reformer. Recommended spring tension is 1 to 2 springs and foot bar number 1 with your own footwork setting. Starting position, kneeling onto the carriage, feet against shoulder rest in hip distance apart. Hands on foot bar, stabilize your scapula by engaging your latissimus dorsi muscles. Lengthen the spine and bring the hips forward, create a long line from crown to knees. Inhale, pushing the carriage out without changing the alignment of the body. Go as far as spine and pelvis remain neutral. Exhale, pull the carriage in, shoulder should not over the wrist. This exercise challenges on the abs work and shoulder stability. The recommended repetitions are 10 repetitions and 3 sets. If you want to challenge abs further, you can use a lighter spring tension. Hope you enjoyed this abs workout on Reformer. Stay tuned for more videos like this to work on your body. If you have any questions, please drop a message to our WhatsApp number or comment below.